Good morning students. In this video, I'm going to explain you the conversions of isometric to orthographic projection. If you look at this question problem here, how they'll be asking question in the exam is draw the top view, front view, top view and side view of the following drawing given below. Now, what you need to do here is you need to understand the dimensions of the given problem as it is given in isometric view that is in 3D. Now, how to start with the problem here is you need to look at the arrow mark indication here. The arrow mark indication facing towards the drawing is the view which you need to draw first. That is nothing but the front view. That is nothing but the front view. Wherever the arrow mark indication is facing with, towards the drawing, that view need to be drawn, which is nothing but the front view. Your students, as you have studied in the second unit orthographic projection of orthographic projections in the first angle projection method, there you have studied uh, the views like front, top and side view, you need to have a better understanding about first angle projection method in order to solve this isometric to orthographic view projections. If you are not uh, good at the first angle projection method concept, please refer my video, which is there in this YouTube channel. Now, what you need to do here is first read the dimensions of the given problem as the front view represents. Front view dimensions are length as well as height, isn't it? The rectangle which is here is the front view you see in from the front this is the length and this is the height here this dimensions length and height and coming to the top view we see the length as well as width in the top view length and width combination in the top view length and height combination in the front view and coming to the side view the student if you see from here this is nothing but the right side view the right side view or the left side view whatever it is in the side view we see the width as well as height combination width and height in the side view so i repeat once again the length and height in the front view and length and width in the length and width in the top view and height and width in the side view and let's look at this problem how to convert this 3d to 2d as orthographic projections a multi-view projection we are going to draw the multiple views of this given following drawing now first you need to represent this x y line here which is nothing but the reference line then go through the front view so this look at this diagram and look at the drafter in the pencil how it is being drawn here for better understanding now when you i said told this arrow mark indication is the front view try to draw the length as well as height kindly look at this uh, diagram also so the length and height is visible in the front view now next we need to focus on top view is highlighting with the pencil i'm going to highlight with the hb pencil whichever is visible go through this point the red color point here so as this complete diagram all the corners are visible very clear there are no hidden lines here i mean hidden parts of the diagram is not there so we can see the complete length and height in the front view so that is length and height now when you look in the top we see what length and width in the top view how to draw this top view is to project from the project from the front view project a line from the front view and the same length in the top front view is nothing but the length in the top view the same length in the front view is nothing but the length in the top view and width is this this is the width so some dimensions you take and try to draw this for easy understanding i have chosen this problem as an example to proceed with isometric to orthographic projections so look at this point highlighting all, all the corners and all the edges are clearly visible here. So that's the reason this is length and width combination. Length and width combination. Now when you look at the side view, we see width and height combination here. So width and height combination, in order to get the side view, we need to draw the 45 degree line. So project from the project from the top view, project from the top view and divert down to the side. Similarly, project even from the front view, project the projectors from the front view as well as the top view, you'll be getting the side view, dear students. You'll be getting the side view and look at this dot here. So this is width and height combination is the right side view. As we are viewing from left, it's nothing but the right side view, which we are going to draw. And try to draw all the dimensions here. So when you look at the problem here, you look at the problem here, all the dimensions need to be written very clear in order to explain once again 
front view will be above the reference line in the first angle projection method the top view will be below the reference line and the front view dimensions are length and height and the top view dimensions are length and width and the side views will be to the next of the front view all the time that means they will be next of the front view that will be above the reference line so the side view dimension is height as well as the width the height in the front view will be the same height in the right side view and the width in the top view will be the same width so this is how you need to uh, project dear students converting the 3d diagram to 2d here and try to write down all the dimensions as well as even write the front top and side view and for more videos please do subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends too thank you